After delving into a plethora of productivity books, I encountered numerous guidelines, such as the two-year rule, the five-minute rule, and not to be confused with the five-second rule relating to food on the floor. The issue here lies in the fact that these rules are primarily tailored for businesses or entrepreneurs. Therefore, I'd like to share with you two distinct two-minute rules, each for the next couple of minutes. The initial two-minute rule originates from David Allen's Getting Things Done. He suggests that if a task can be completed within two minutes, you should tackle it immediately. For instance, if I need to take out the trash, a task that can be done in two minutes, I should seize the opportunity to do it right away. This approach prevents the need to jot it down on a to-do list, the risk of forgetting about it, or returning to it later, which often takes more than two minutes. My perspective on this is that it's more efficient to address such tasks as they arise. Here's a list of activities that may fit within this two-minute time frame throughout the day, such as tidying up your workspace, watering your plants, or trimming your nails. I simply attend to them when I notice them, as these minor tasks can accumulate. Consequently, this rule inclines my mind towards taking action and away from procrastination. The second two-minute rule is inspired by James Clear's Atomic Habits. He recommends simplifying tasks you don't particularly want to do down to two minutes or less. For example, transforming the daunting task of completing an entire reading assignment into the manageable goal of reading a single paragraph, or turning the arduous task of memorizing the entire periodic table into the more achievable task of memorizing just 10 flashcards. Some might view this as a mere psychological trick why would one fall for it? And is it even sustainable? To address this skepticism, James Clear advises that when initiating a new habit, start by limiting yourself to just two minutes. In my experience during medical school, I aim to establish the habit of studying for one hour daily before dinner. I applied this technique, but restricted myself to only two minutes. I would sit down, open my laptop, study for two minutes, then close my laptop and engage in another activity. Initially, this might appear unproductive or even senseless. However, maintaining consistency with this two-minute routine day after day resulted in me evolving into a person who studies daily. I was in the process of mastering the habit of simply showing up because a habit must be instilled before it can be expanded upon. If I couldn't become a person who dedicates just two minutes a day to studying, I would never be able to transform into the individual who studies for an hour daily. You have to start somewhere, and commencing with small steps proves to be more manageable. There are several other valuable tips from the books I've covered, which I elaborate on in this video, discussing three books in three minutes. Feel free to check it out. If you enjoy these types of videos, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be looking forward to your feedback. Goodbye.